Welcome back to I've Had Worse. They say in life you regret the things you don't do. Well, I'm about to test some budget white ciders, and I might turn that statement on its head. Now, these are two of the best-selling white ciders in the country. Exceptionally popular. Um, and they have a bit of a dodgy reputation. I mean, as you can see from this one, this is a 7.5 cider um, and was 99 pence a can. Um, so exceptionally cheap, really. Some people would say ridiculously cheap. And again, the same for Frosty Jacks. Um, so I'm going to be comparing these two. Um, and I kind of think I know what I'm getting, but you need to compare them to something. So I'm comparing them to a similar priced supermarket uh, cider of around the same uh, strength. Actually, this is a, a 6.8. Um, the difference is, is that this is a single variety cider that's, according to the blurb on the back of the bottle, uh, has been brewed from uh, one year's harvest uh, and is slowly matured. Whether I would consider these to be manufactured ciders uh, made with sugars and sweeteners. Okay, so uh, let's get these open and see how we go. Me and cans don't get on, so we'll see how we're doing. Hey! Okay. No fountains of joy as I was normally expecting. Okay. And just to have something to compare it against. Okay. So, let's start with Frosty Jacks. Appley. It's a strong flavour, I'll tell you that. Yeah. I said, clear white cider. Nothing really... What's it? Mm, artificially, really. And a strong, yeah, it's like extra, it's like strong lagers. It's got that hint of alcohol at the back of it, really. So not much in the way of flavour. And being as though these are brewed in the same brewery, I'm suspecting they might have the same similar type of flavour. Again, similar type of smell. There's nothing on the nose, really. And I defy anybody to tell the difference between those two. Uh, not much in the way of flavour, but they could be basically identical. Okay, so let's compare it to this one. And this purports to be the real deal. This is a single variety cider, as I said, according to the blurb. Um, and it's just left to mature. So this is the natural yeasts on the back Oh, on the back of the bottle of oh, natural yeasts on the um, on the apple which should be used to ferment this and again a strong cidery appley smell yeah completely different and a much deeper apple flavor although not over appley But a much deeper, more rounded flavour. Okay, so what do I really think? Well, if your whole purpose is to get drunk, then, you know, this will get the job done, but so will a bottle of whiskey. Um, if you just want a nice refreshing drink, then I would go for something a little bit more naturally brewed, let's say. Um, I said I chose this one because they're a similar type of price range. Um, 
you can find this one at Aldi and I think it was around £1.70 that type of mark and again this as you clearly see is 99 pence and I think this was about 89 pence a can so we're not talking expensive so there you go drinkable but you know I don't know why you would drink something with a little bit more akin to a real cider uh, so there you go um, hope you're liking these if you are please hit the like and subscribe uh, and we'll see you next time be good to yourselves then I use uh, cut <laughs>